Webs uses the stack system to administer mathematical quizzes to students. Students answer the questions by typing in a mathematical expression in the answer box. Getting the expression right, getting it entered the way they intend it to be entered, is often a major task. The stack system holds the hands of students as they enter their answers. And then the system creates and gives meaningful feedback to students. Stack is an open source system developed by Chris Sangvan, assisted by Tim Hunt and several others. WIPS has a large database of stack problems which are used in many courses. In this problem number one, I have to integrate one over x with respect to x. I do that by typing in my answer in the box indicated. An antiderivative of 1 over x is log of x. So I type in log, and the system tells me that it interpreted my answer as ln, that is as the natural log. So this is what I wanted to answer, but uh, I still have to add x, so I type in x. And now the system tells me that the answer is invalid because there's a space between log and x, and there should not be a space. So I go back and I add an opening parenthesis, and now the system tells me that my answer is still invalid, there is a missing closing parenthesis. So I go and I add the missing closing parenthesis, and now the system tells me that it interpreted my answer as ln of x, that is natural logarithm of x. Now I'm happy with this one. I click next to go to the next problem. The next problem is to integrate x times square root of 2x minus 1 re with respect to x using the substitution u equals 2x minus 1. This is somewhat complicated. Students are expected to solve these questions using pen, pencil and paper, and eraser. When they get the computation done, they enter their answer to the little box indicated here. I have computed this separately, and I got as my answer 2x minus 1 to the power 5 over 2, that divided by 5 over 2, plus 2x minus 1 to the power 3 over 2, that divided by 3 over 2, and the whole sum divided by 4, plus constant of integration. This is somewhat complicated, but I don't care. I click Next. Now the system will tell me that it said the answer for problem 1, but for problem 2 the answer is incomplete. And why is that? I click 2 to go back to see my answer to problem 2, and the system suspects that I may have done an error because the answer is so complicated. So it tells, please verify what you entered was interpreted as expected. Well, it was. This is what I wanted to enter, and I click Next, and proceed with creating of my answers. So now the system says that it saved answers for both questions. I say Submit and Finish. At this point I could still return and change my answers, but I'm happy. I say Submit and Finish. And now, problem 1. I didn't get it right. The system tells me that you need to add constant of integration, otherwise this appears to be correct. Well done! For the second question, my answer is correct as indicated by the green box around number 2. And here the system shows me that correct answer well done. We need to calculate integral of x times square root of 2x minus 1 dx by means of the substitution u equals 2x minus 1. So the system gives step-by-step -step solution here. Students can learn from these solutions. When they take this quiz again, they get similar problems, but not the same ones. They cannot memorize answers, they must learn the methods. This is how WEBS stack, with its uh, huge problem database, supports students in learning of mathematics. It's a wonderful tool, students like it a lot.